Mr. President, what do you think about the current state and the development of the Russian-Chinese relations? And in your view, how will the relations between Russia and China look like in the future during your new term? In China, an important uh, event was held. The China is developing at very quick rate. Uh, very concentrated, and what's important, the structure of the economy in China is changing towards innovations, towards giving the economy more innovative nature, and we are trying to follow suit inside our country because we are facing the similar tests here in Russia. Secondly, People's Republic of China is uh, working actively on the international stage and achieving a lot of success. They have a lot of friends across the world. And those attempts that are made by the unfriendly countries toward China, first of all, it has to do with the attempts to make all kinds of provocations around Taiwan, which is an inherent part of the People's Republic of China. And it has to do with the sanctions used against China to stop its development, to hinder its development, all these attempts are failed to do, are doomed to fail. So there is no doubt, even those who are trying to do this, they understand that. As for our relations, they have been built for the past two decades. They're very sustainable. They complement each other, and I'm confident that this cooperation will continue. And in fact, due to the good friendly relations that I have with the President of the People's Republic of China, of course, that's not the main thing. The main thing is that our national interests correspond, but it gives a good additional backdrop to strengthening our ties and the relations between Russia and China is a stabilizing factor internationally and from the point of view of the development of our activities on the Eurasian space. China is implementing its, its plan for the Silk Road, Belt and Road Initiative. I think it's a very important initiative by President Xi. And there are a lot of overlapping interests in economy and foreign affairs, and I'm confident that over the next few years we will continue to strengthen these, to increase these, and we will achieve common interests for the good of the Chinese and the Russian peoples.